Hello, this is Strafty Strafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And actually, in this episode, we are continuing with our movement to do Applied Energy Sticks. Yeah, last episode I finished this line and these guys, except for this. And between the episodes, I add this part, which is epoxy and the silicone rubber and serene butadin blah blah tingy majigi. Yeah, they are the lines I already familiar with, and I used quad input hatch a lot. It is an amazing thing. It is amazing. It, it is simply the best. Anyway. And currently this line is 23 channels. So I can actually add a few more machines here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to continue with uh, a bit of our chemical process. I made a checklist. In this episode, I won't be bothering with the oil processing, but I will do the circuit boards. And then, maybe something interesting in later. But first things first, I will handle the circuit board automation, because I currently have to batch craft the circuit boards all the time. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. And then... I will probably, between the episodes, after this, that done, I will do some building. What do I plan for building is... an extension around here, maybe just this, or I will dig a bit more. And... move my oil pro uh, not oil processing or processing area here and then not just the ore processing but also separate lines the all the separate lines and i also have to start with the rare earth yeah i really have a long checklist let's look at it we already done the benzene setup and plastic lines Yep, that, that's all done. And I need to do the circuit boards. That's simple. Uh, I will do that in the, this episode. Oil processing, yeah, that's not fully important, but it's nice to have. Base ore processing, which is important. Titanium mine, that is super important because we use a lot of titanium and tungsten line. Tungsten line is also important, really important, because we are going to use a lot of tungsten. Bauxite line, that is nice to have. Actually, I need to, I, I needed to do that line a long time ago. And multi block electrolyzer, that is quite needed because of. This gigantic wall, and it doesn't cover at all uh, our needs at all. We need much more stuff. And then railroad line and full plat line. And then we can finally enjoy the side quests before moving to the monazit line. Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of automations. And also, by, with side quests, I mean magic and bees. Because they will help us a lot. And also, for the magic, I want to get... Flugaltiera. Yeah. I don't want to use jetpack anymore. I want to use Flugaltieras. At least for a while. Anyway. <laughs> Let me just craft a bunch of things. And here we have two new LCRs. So, we have 
one output bus and two dual interfaces that connect directly connected to the main network. And one set of uh, inputs and output thingamajiggies. Actually, you can't think of it. Yeah, I will rearrange them because item one is cheaper. <laughs> so let's connect these guys. First, I will do something like this. Yeah, directional. And then we have ingredient buffers. They are buffers, just buffers. Apply to energy six buffers. And after that, item one. This should be okay. Now, this will be our auto crafting thing, imagine. And let's get the quartz. And let's look at a cir circuit bo board. Let's look at the example of this, and uh, not this. Uh, for example, this. They will require sulfuric acid. And the orange one will be that. So, it's the top one. Let's get the quartz knife. Why did I get the grafter? Because I probably confused with uh, quartz knife. And you will be... LCR. Okay. LCR. Okay. Those are named. And what we are going to need is... Do this, the, this, and then... Do you guys need any... No, you don't need any uh, thingy magic. So... You are good. If I place any recipes here, they are okay. And now we also have to add two more things. Advanced fluid solidifiers. Fluid solidifier ingot. And you will be fluid sol solidifier plate those are the two ones that we need most make it 16 at a time and all tetrafluoroethylene you also gonna be automated like this it's 16 thank you and uh plate and after that, we're gonna teach this system, for example, this copper foil and yeah. Actually, come to think of it, I can just use both of those. Yeah, I can just use one of them for both of the processes. Yeah. And the buffer will handle the rest and yeah, that... That should be okay, so I can use other four iron three chloride. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? And everything should be okay now. Yeah, I also put a machine controller here. And yeah, that should be pretty good now. And it, it is actually much more clear, uh, cleaner. And let's test it. Actually, I have some iron tree cl chlorides here. And the remaining iron tree chlorides come here. And come to the workshop. Whoops. Dumped all of them. And let's... Circuit board. Uh, let's make it some plastic circuit. And are you doing that? Okay, you are doing and yep, yeah, it's done. And uh, let's try to make this. 
and whoops it should be starts doing things okay it is a bit slow on the startup and but the rest is okay so we have a way of making circuits now i just need to make uh, find a way to make iron dust yeah that's it that's all i need and then the rest is the his rest is history the entire circuit process is a okay that means actually i i can upgrade my circuit production to this yeah i had to uh it was already waiting for me and i will do that now we finally set up the rest of the processors and we are actually at the point that we can autocraft luv circuits super easily actually they are not super easy they are really expensive but we can but at the iv point we can get super easily and actually i can remove those two so i will probably I will probably, if I need to add anything else. And we add one more laser engraver, and I'm probably going to need to add a few more, so I will probably rearrange this room a bit. And this became the main one, and this became the circuit one circuit assembler, and so that means the encoded patterns are here. Anyway, uh... I will probably gonna need a multi-block variant, which doesn't exist yet in the future. And the multi-block variant, and thank you for the gold, will be added in the 2.7 update. So, probably at the point that we need the multi-block version of this guy by a lot. We are going to have one. I can use processing assembly, uh, but I don't want to because it will be deprecated and also large processing blah blah thingy that's also going to be deprecated. Anyway, uh, besides that, we have one more strange thingy magic on our hand and you can guess what it is. Yeah, let's come here for power. I will use your power, my friends. And now, let's place the computer case. Let's place the accelerated processing unit, RAM, hard disk, disk drive, screen, keyboard, redstone card, geolizer, inventory upgrades, and Lua BIOS. I didn't put the internet cards because I will just pull the thingy from here and then put it in this. So that should be enough, actually. Let's wait for two, around three minutes and we get a computer on our hands. Then I have to plan the area that I'm going to use that robot. Yeah, probably I have to clear this area and make a strange workplace for the crops and then I will 100% redo this entire uh, area. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, this area was a bit of a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Anyway, I, I will just think about how should we go with this, and then I will handle the stuff later. And the computer is ready. Now what we're going to need is a charger. A redstone signal, 
Uh, where is a lever? You never knew how many levers you are going gonna need. So let's let's take this and apply a redstone signal, and it is charging now. And if I run it now, it will give an error because there is no boots uh, bootable media. Luckily. We have our open OS. I really shouldn't do this like that. And place this guy here. Run it and then it's gonna eventually boot up. And let's say install. Yes. And it's gonna take a while. Let me just handle an area and... What was it? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, seizure alert. Okay, after some small building, I did this area. And let's put our energy source. Whoops. A wrong key combination. Okay. I'm a bit uh, tired today, so <laughs> don't mind me. Anyway, let's put these guys here. I will move to the solar energy for, uh, for here later, but for now. The benzene will work. And let me just grab my... Thank you. And yeah, this program is an already existing program. I didn't wrote it, it's... Let me just check it, written by... Uh, Dylan Taylor 1. Yeah. And let's place this guy too, here too. Okay, this site should look at here. And yeah, everything else seems to be okay. Let's place our robot here. And place... Uh, we need a mattock. Mattock. Uh, I will temporarily give this guy this to him and rest ah, okay spade here this should be this yeah transceiver interface and some crops voila now what we're gonna do is let's look at our existing crops. Let me just hmm, which crop should I first uh, upgrade? Actually, let's get a set of yeah. Let's get a set of tiny magicies, and I have to put some Vdex to this guy. Do I have any? I should have some. I should have some here. Uh, or I... Yeah, I have some here. <laughs> Good thing that I... Bulk craft when I do. Anyway. Let's put this and... Yeah. Also, let's start this guy and put the batteries here and what we're gonna do is we need a lever lever come here thank you thank you my friend and then place this lever here and here now Let's place some crops. 
you are here, you're here, here, here. Let me just first uh, upgrade this guy to the best possible one. Then I will also do the rest. Okay, this should be enough. And let's look at the uh, actions that we have here. Uh, programs we have. Okay, now I'll auto step. Start. Start. And end. Auto spread. And. Okay. It's. I guess it's searching for the place here. So it should be okay. Now. All I have to do is place some benzene down here, and we are good. By the way, there is also auto tier. That auto tier script is basically auto automatically allows this guy to. Well, let me help you, my friend. <laughs> Actually, I should leave it this to him. All right. Auto tier, uh, auto tier is this guy finding new crops. Auto spread is uh, spreading crop here to all around here. And auto stat is making these crops best crop possible. So yeah, that is how it's going to do. And we are just going to wait for him. And let me just make sure this area is chunk loaded. And yeah, of course it's chunk loaded. So yeah, that's what it's going to do. And in the meantime, I will, I will actually go outside of the state for a few days. So it will be a nice, uh, cozy environment for some small buildings i will probably build the new yeah new greenhouses in this mountain yeah uh, around this mountain and as layer by layer and then the rest it will be an ore processing building here and after all processing and greenhouse is done, I should move to the de designated B area. It will probably be this area. I will demolish the magic building and make a new one around here. I'll probably demolish the old ore processing building. And this wing will be basically... Yeah... Uh, B byproducts processing area. Also, this wing still uses logistics pipes for power because it will be moved entirely. So our current logistics pipe system just carries benzene and it doesn't even store it. It gets from this. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice solution. And for the robot's name, I actually, your suggestions will be welcomed. What should we name this guy? And then, this guy is named something nice. I will just rename it. And her, it. Thingy-majiggy. And then, we, we are good. Okay, uh, I just start rambling, and by the way, uh, any suggestion for the new magic area would be okay, because after the ore processing wing, which going to be consumed, uh, let's think about it. Base ore processing, some specialized ores, uh, like, uh, yeah, uh, some chemical processed uh, ores. Flatline, 
Tungst Tungsten line, Titanium line, and Rare Earth line. Oh, Sobok side line. Yeah, all those will be our next projects. Probably gonna take two to three episodes. Probably three episodes. But then we will be good for a while after and uh, before we start with the Monazit line. Uh, for plot line, I also just need to get palladium, rhodium, and iridium for now, and osmium. Man, maybe I will do the osmium too. So, and this guy is fast. This guy is good. Anyway, uh, it was enough rambling for from me, so let's end this episode here. This is Crafty Crafty, and have an amazing day. <laughs>